Hey everyone, Danny Webster over at PocketNow.com, and today we're going to be doing the hardware review of the Samsung Galaxy Note, one of the fastest Android powered smartphones slash tablets available. So let's get to it. So the Samsung Galaxy Note is running Android 2.3 Gingerbread, which Samsung and Google State will be upgraded to Android 4.0 in 2012. So the device is pretty big. It's almost 146 millimeters in height, uh, 84 millimeters in width, and 9.65 millimeters in depth. So it's a pretty big device, but yet still pretty thin if I compare it to an iPhone 4 or 4S. As you can see, it's about the same thickness as the iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S. So it's still a pretty thin device and it feels kind of a, it feels thin in your pocket. It doesn't feel too big. Although it is a little comical when you're using it against your head, people think it's kind of like you're holding a book to the side of your face. So we'll go through the hardware features of the Galaxy Note. At the top we have an earpiece, we have our light sensor, a proximity sensor, and our two megapixel front facing camera. We also have the Samsung emblem. We have a huge 5.3 inch WXGA resolution. That's a almost an HD resolution screen and this is behind a glass capacitive multi-touch digitizer which also uses the S Pen on the bottom and it's kind of similar to those bamboo style writing devices that you use on your computer. It won't work on other capacitive screens but it will only work on the Galaxy Note so we'll just put that back for a minute. Let's see, what else do we have? On the bottom we have two capacitive buttons, a menu button and a back button. We also have a physical button, which one little feature that's pretty cool is if we double tap, it brings up a voice service that we like can uh, use, kind of like Siri on the iPhone. On this side of the device, we have a volume rocker up and down, nothing else. We have a multi-port USB 2.0, and I believe it also uh, does HD out. We have our primary microphone, our S Pen, which is on the back slash bottom. We have our power standby button, we have our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. On the back we have our 8 megapixel uh, HD recordable camera, we also have a flash, uh, another Samsung emblem, and our speaker phone, our, mic our speaker out, volume out, audio out here, and let me just pop off the battery cover. The battery cover is made of plastic, as is most of the device itself. If I pop that off, we can view the micro SD card slot. It doesn't come with a micro SD card, but it does have 16 gigabytes of internal memory of a 2500 milliamp hour battery, which seems to last forever. It actually lasts a couple of days without needing to be charged. We have our standard SIM card slot, and we have our S Pen. This is a pretty neat pen because it does have a dual features. If you can see here we have a button that allows us to use a back feature and uh, many other options which I'll show you in the software review coming up next. So we'll just pop that back in there. So some other hardware to mention is we have a 1.4 GHz Exynos dual core processor which is very fast and I'll show you the benchmarks for that in just a second. We also have 1 GB of RAM and uh, of course the 16 GB of ROM that are built in. So this unlocked Galaxy Note does have quad band GSM along with quad band UMTS and it also has HSPA Plus at the 2100 megabits per second speed. Uh, the other features about this Galaxy Note is we have Bluetooth 3.0, we have Wi-Fi A, B, G, and N. We have an accelerometer, assisted GPS, and a gyroscope built in. So let's check out some of those benchmarks. So running Quadrant Standard, I was able to get 4,223, which is pretty phenomenal for a device with 1.4 gigahertz. So let's move on to the next benchmark test. And on SmartBench 2011, I was able to get 4,214 on the Productivity Index and 2,378 on the Games Index. So let's do Linpack, and then we'll finish this up. And on Limpack running a multi-thread test, I was able to get 103.987 mflops in 1.6 seconds. And uh, that's a very fast test. It's uh, probably one of the fastest for just an OEM Android device. So this has been the hardware review of the Samsung Galaxy Note. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And also leave some comments down below. You can check out the unboxing video right about here. I'll post a link. And stay tuned for the software review coming up next. To get more information about the hardware related to the Galaxy Note, just visit the link in the description directed to pocketnow.com where we stored the full article and you can view all the information about the hardware related to the Samsung Galaxy Note. Thanks for watching. <laughs>